I've been standing here waiting for you in the hot sun. Cousin Sheila turned me away at the check-in gazebo. <gasps> she should be in hair and makeup right now. She said I ruined her wedding by telling the family I'm poverty-stricken. But Sheila's your first cousin. That's why she's so embarrassed. She said she couldn't help me. Well, she could, but she wouldn't. And to think she was a flower girl at my wedding. She shouted as I walked away, I never really liked you. She didn't even try to distribute those flower petals evenly. Don't give me that bullcrap excuse that you're only three. You had one job, Sheila, one job. It's like she didn't hear a word I said. Shirley Temple wannabe. Denise, why was she so mean to me? Because your family only cares about money. Not people. You get that now? At least you look great in your wedding pants suit. I told you it would still fit. Aren't you glad I brought it? Thrilled. Not bringing up any bad memories at all. Why are you holding that? A desperate young man with hope in his eyes handed me this tray and implored me to pass its contents to the guests. You see, he has an audition that could be his big break. He's going in for man number three. It's down to him and four other guys. And I can get it. What did the family say when they saw you dressed as a waiter? Oh, Denise, you look at the tray, not at the tray passer, mini keeps. Oh, I can't stop eating these almonds. <gasps> your wedding almonds, I saved those for you too. Put them under your pillow and make a wish. Oh, but I guess they're your divorce almonds. <laughs> you look for my wedding? I thought they'd give you, but I thought, no, they couldn't be. Why would they be? But they, they were, weren't they? I just ate 20 years of almonds, didn't I? Those almonds are 20 years old. Those almonds are 20 years old. Here, have a savory. Don't look at me. Look at the tray. Oh, I'm supposed to ask if you have any food allergies. This is so hard. Cousin Sheila was right. I'm worthless. <laughs> hey, no. Never say that about yourself. You are not worthless. <laughs> Never say that about yourself. You are not worthless. Thanks. Forget about those people. They're family, but they're not. Your family. You know what I mean? You're saying that you're my oh, sister. Let's get out of here. Mm, but the tray isn't empty. I can't leave until the tray is empty. Let's go. Oh, you're amazing. I'm good at crisis. Why wouldn't my family give me any money? They have so much of it. Because they are the haves, and you are now a have-not. Welcome to the club. It's a nice, it's a pretty nice club. It will look better for the McConnell wedding tomorrow. They're having swans. You got a job? <laughs> you got a job? Oh, I wondered why I was invited. Oh my God, this is incredible. You're practically on your way to being self-sufficient. An independent woman. You're gonna stick it to the man. You're gonna bring home the bacon and fry it up in the pan. No, but seriously, maybe you could buy some groceries now. I don't actually eat bacon because pigs are smarter than dogs, so don't really bring bacon into the apartment. But like, a celebratory cantaloupe. Yeah, that's cool. Come on. Celebrate, this is huge, you got a job. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a job, I'm employed. You must be so good at tray passing. I know who wants an hors d'oeuvre before they do. I knew you wanted another one. Save a couple for breakfast. Do people really do that? Yeah, it's called leftovers. You know dairy free, right? I have no idea, I wasn't listening. 